Right, welcome back. Last time we conquered the last of the Western Mediterranean islands that Spain had. So Malta, Sardinia, Corsica, and two-thirds of the Belize. One still owned by Tunis, so I must have conquered it off. Aragon at some point. Oh well. And we now have gentry instead of aristocracy, so that's good. Also changed rulers, which is, you know, an excellent time for that to happen. There seems to be some issues with executive authority, though. For some reason, royal authority isn't at 50, which is what it's supposed to be. So I think I'm going to have to wait for legitimacy to increase or something. I'm not really sure. But once that gets high enough, I should have enough executive authority to go to free peasantry. Okay, this problems could definitely use some upgraded infrastructure. Or infrastructure, to be precise. I believe I need to bring it to rank 5, yes. Could be that it literally just took 8. So. Twenty-eighth merchant. Okay. Now, all I'm wondering is whether or not we're going to get something interesting happening. And by that, I mean... Oh, hey, are we going to lose four merchants again? Because that's happened before. I've been sending these merchants over to India. This is the second time I'm doing this, actually. So, <laughs> might happen that I need to do it a third time. Oh, what now? You're trying to attack Livland. Sweden is about the state of Livland. Okay. Bohemia and Savoy. Well, Bohemia is not going to help out. And Savoy isn't either. Okay. To be honest, I don't really care all that much. So, you'll have my subject's assistance, but not anything else. I'm too busy trying to ensure that a revolt doesn't happen, so... Okay. And... Provoke revolt. Oh! Okay. Never mind, they're out of unrest here. I guess separatism reduced enough but over the years for it to not be an issue. No, that's good.
yeah, I think this would be a good point to stop. Um, but I am gonna have to deal with the zealots down there. Oh, great. Out of reach of any forts, too. Fortifications. That's just wonderful. Right. Um, okay, those things haven't expired yet. I'm gonna have to wait until the 27th to do that. Okay, that's fine. I can let game time pass until then. There we go. Oh yeah, they're not gonna make it from the army before the province gets sieged down by the zealots. Great. That's not good. That's not good at all. My ruler still ha does not have enough executive authority, but they're gaining more ruler authority. I am certain that number was lower in the past. So, given more authority, I should given more time, I should have enough authority to handle that. Still, I can do other reforms if I choose to, and I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. After all, boosted tax efficiency and all that should be helpful, especially since I've started increasing the amount of money that I spend on infrastructure maintenance. But it may bolster it even more. Given that I'm apparently not spending all that much. At the very least, I can say this. The project over here inside the capital has finished, and I've got a rank 5 capital now. So that will further reduce the amount of autonomy that provinces have. In fact, I think... Uh, not most of Greece, but a good portion of Greece is going to go below zero autonomy. Probably not all of it, because of reasons. Well, okay current state does seem to imply that for the entirety of Greece, so that's great. I'm sure a lot of Black Sea provinces are going to have the same effect. Like over here, there's already a 0% autonomy in certain provinces, thanks to harborages. Helping with CE. In fact, my next thing that I'm going to do is to continue to upgrade the harbor here. Well, new construction project time. Right. Um, build infrastructure. Actually, how much population do we have? Uh, we're getting close to over 200k, and, well, people are emigrating, but not that quickly, so. How much would it cost to do rank 7? Not that much, it's only 84 units. Okay, I'll take it. I absolutely have the room to do it. Okay, good. Amenities infrastructure in Heliopolis has returned back to five. Back over here in Alexandria, or well, yeah, in Alexandria. It's going to hit zero again, thanks to the powerful harborage, as well as the buffs from the capital. And this province already is at zero autonomy. It's just lovely. Having such good autonomy in so many locations. How's culture doing? Um, I don't think there was enough time for things to really change the last time I looked. But I figured we definitely should start to see some cultural conversion begin to take place in areas of low population quantity and relatively recent conquests. Well, 
No, this promise is gonna turn. <laughs> Convert to either Romai or. Whatever the syncretist culture is for this population group. Or Masari culture, but probably not since it's right next to a Romai province. So. Of course, if Saidi culture decides to convert, of course it's gonna go pick the other one. Yep, okay. I do hope this one culturally converts relatively soon, but no, nope, nationalism. Yeah. Alright, the issues of that. And the Neapolitan provinces will take a long time for that to occur. Especially since a lot of them. There's some heavily developed ones so much population, and I have not had the time to convert most of them to Orthodox religion, which would speed up the process, but, well, it's pretty slow going in a lot of cases. Some of the provinces just aren't adjacent to anything, so they can't really convert properly. Kiev is trying to invade Livland, as is Austria, so I'm thinking of going ahead and invading Napoli soonish. Of course, should I wish to do that? I probably should move troops over here because then we'll be fighting Austria. I'd like to wait a bit longer just to be certain. But I don't know how, what territory. Well, okay, so. Yeah, both sides have occupied territory that the other side wants in the process. Yeah, eventually, etc. So it would not surprise me particularly if fun stuff were to occur. I mean, Savoy is falling apart pretty quickly. Because they happen to ally the wrong person. Yeah, the HRE is falling apart and all this. The electors are stuck between Bohemia and Austria, and both are kind of terrible. There's only 19 princes, and 15 of them are free cities. Which just uh, goes... well, actually, wait. No, no, no. There's, 19, there's 15 free cities and 19 princes. Making a total of 34 countries, which is nowhere near enough. Forty-one member states. Thirty-four. Oh, seven electors and the emperor, which is also an elector. Okay, that's how the numbers add up. Okay, so electors aren't considered among the princes, and neither are free cities. There we go. That's the proper counting. And I forgot to do um, some political stuff. Okay. Um. No. No. There we go. Don't know if there's anything here. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, right, I should grab tech before I do anything else. The steam engine. Production efficiency plus 2%. Or production efficiency. Steering wheels. Ship durability plus 3%. Make corrupt officials. Colonial range plus 200. Trade range plus 100. Naval morale plus 0.25. And pikes retired. Combat width plus 2, infantry fire plus 0.1, artillery shock plus 0.1, can now build the fortress, the final defensive building. I believe that should unlock um, industrial ideas. Yes, it does. Oh boy, industrial ideas are amazing. It means I can start getting yearly present freedom without needing free peasantry, which will continue to erode the power of the nobles, which is a plus. It always is a plus. <laughs> Improves the amount of peasant labor that I can use for rural stuff, which means I need fewer peasants so that I can move to the cities. Elite divergence concern plus 50%. I'm not sure if that's a good number. 
but even more open production efficiency. Boost of combat ability for the important ones, namely infantry and artillery. Boost of movement speed, increased space diversions, and a small artillery fire buff, which isn't all that important. But I can get a police force set up in order to improve stability increase. Which might be helpful, but I don't think... well, it depends on what policy says. Okay, one currency act isn't helpful. That's for sure, so I'm fine with getting a new one. Military culture and staff corps. Okay. I mean, I kind of need aggressive policing right now for that, but... Hmm. Yeah. I haven't conquered recently, admittedly, outside of some stuff. So I should definitely have the admin points if I don't go out of control with a conquering, which I doubt I will. I'll probably... I mean, my current aims right now are to get the rest of Tripolitania in order to complete... The Acquire Tripolitania mission, which will further reduce the cost of going these three provinces, which are massive, but not that big of a deal. With all the, de well, with claims and the minus 25% core creation cost. Both of those together should help. And then these provinces aren't particularly well developed, so conquering them should not be a big deal. I just rather get claims in order to reduce aggressive expansion because those are the real problem. In other news, uh, Malenergy has a 49 year old ruler and doesn't have an heir. So there's a decent chance that I could get them as a uh, personal union which would be great. The only issue is this might cause tensions with Kiev, because then suddenly I have a huge corner... well... Okay, I was about to say that there's a lot of cores that Alonji has here, but I guess they've either dropped all of them or have been forced to drop them. Probably forced to drop them. If I hover over here, I see all the court. Yeah. Still, it would consolidate my holdings over here. And give me a... Well, a massive amount of control on the Kashkin Sea node. And a decent amount more in the Volga node, till I do already have a controlling power in there. More Black Sea node control would be nice, but is not actually necessary. That was very much workable, if I could get that done. <sighs> yeah, I probably should take the time next time in order to ensure that infrastructure is actually the amount that it needs to be, because in some provinces it doesn't seem to be as high as it should be. Oh well. I did not make sure I did make sure to expand in all the automate investor to all of my provinces, so... It should invest into everywhere it can, and wherever it is feasible to do so. So, the economy should start growing in leaps and bounds again. Beyond, you know, conquest. And with the assistance of this... Ooh, there we go. This will further improve tax efficiency, so I'll get about 20%, 25% more taxes, since it improves tax efficiency from 80% time state reach, 100% time state reach. Plus, it will improve your state reach gain from 0.15 to 0.5. So, plus 0.35. So, that's also going to be helpful. Rational taxation. I believe that's all. Well, that's all the reforms except for this one. Which I'm not touching any time soon. I'd rather break the power of the nobility before I try that. Because then the power of everyone will be broken to the point where they will be completely subordinate to the power of the state. And, well, that's good for me because I am, after all, the ultimate representation of the power of the state in this game. So. I am, after all, playing as the state. So. And... If it breaks the power of the nobility and the other factions, 
it will serve to strengthen myself. And allow me to do as I please with more resources. Anyway, I've definitely gone on long enough. <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye. Apparently those 143k mamluks look really scary. And at 90% too. <laughs>